judgment was going to be in our favor because there was actually no case. You know, the opposition party is also trying to make themselves relevant again. But we are very much excited. But it's, it's, it's nothing that we weren't expecting. We expected the results. So, but we're happy. We are happy. What does this mean for the Nkonto Wesizwe party, this victory? What does it mean for you? It means that we are now heading to elections, so definitely sure we are going to achieve this two or third majority come 29 of May. So now we are back on the grounds as we were already on the ground on the grounds since the MK party was launched on the 16th of December. So we are going back to the grounds again, going back to the people again, campaigning more and more to reach our targets for the elections. Well, according to the ANC, your party's logo is a heritage and an asset and basically you are infringing on its right supporters of the ant are saying that is not fair and perhaps they should appeal the ruling what do you say to that they can appeal it's fine i think now they are just wasting their time they should be busy campaigning as well but they are busy with court cases of which all of them they are losing them so to us um, it's fine they can go and appeal we'll be ready for them again so with this logo firmly in your hands officially, what's next for the Nkonto Wesizwe party ahead of the coming May elections? What is next for Nkonto Wesizwe party from now on is to launch more and more of, of, of campaigns. We have AMA programs, or we have the programs that we have on our POAs as the Nkonto Wesizwe party, as the Nkonto Wesizwe Youth League, as the Nkonto Wesizwe Women, Women's League. So all our campaigns are, are now uh, for us as leadership and our forces, our masses, to go back to the ground, to go back to the people and tell them more about Nkonto Wesizwe Party. So for now, uh, we are heading back, we are heading to elections. We don't have time. I think we are left to 36 or 37 days now. So that's the only time we have to us to campaign more. The latest opinion polls show that Nkonto Wesizwe Party has garnered 15%, basically taking away support from the African National Congress, but you are claiming that you are going to form a two-thirds majority. What makes you so confident? You know, we have membership. So it's the membership that we, are, we have at the moment, the membership that we signed on the Unconsolacies uh, online registration, the membership that uh, the, the people of Unconsolacies are signing man manually, and the membership that has, hasn't already been signed members of the Unconsolacies party. But the ANC is doing the same. So far, uh, although it's unable, according to the statistics, unable to achieve the 50% mark, it has the largest support across the country. Let us wait and see after the 29th of May, how is it going to go? How are people reacting to your new party? They are very happy. You know, Um says your party is not funded by anyone, but it's funded by its people. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak promised on Monday to start sending asylum seekers to Rwanda within 10 to 12 weeks as the Upper House of Parliament finally passed required legislation delayed for weeks by attempts to alter the plan. Sunak said the government had booked commercial charter planes and trained staff to take migrants to Rwanda, a policy he hopes will boost his conservative party's flagging fortunes before an election later this year. The House of Lords had long refused to back the divisive legislation without additional safeguards, but eventually relented after Sunak said the government would force parliament to sit as late into Monday night as necessary to get it passed. No ifs, no buts. These flights are going to Rwanda, Sunak told a news conference earlier on Monday. Tens of thousands of migrants, many fleeing wars and poverty in Africa, the Middle East and Asia have reached Britain in recent years by crossing the English Channel in small boats on risky journeys organized by people smuggling guns.
Stopping the flow is a priority for the government, but critics say they plan to deport people to Rwanda rather than handle asylum seekers at home is inhuman. They cite concerns about the country's own human rights record and the risk asylum seekers may be sent back to countries where they face danger.